today we are reviewing the Grand Buffet at the Plopsa Hotel. Let's check it out. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK Vlogs. Why are you laughing? Because you're just being funny. Because I'm leaving a pause for the intro. You, you hate leaving pauses on the videos. No, no, it's fine Claire. Absolutely love it. Uh, today we're in the wonderful Plopsa Hotel and we're going to be checking out this food. Uh, as you can see, I've got a little bit of footage in there. We're going to be trying dinner in just a moment. Uh, we've just had it actually, that's a lie. We've just eaten it, so that is a camera trickery. Um, but we're also having it in the morning as well, breakfast buffet. So let's head in there and find out what it's all about. Wow, the clown thing has just come out. Le Grand Buffet. So drinks are not included, so they've given us a drinks menu and a server will come over and take our drinks order. No. Ooh. So here we go, we pick up our plates here. I might need to ask you to be my server today, Claire, because Do you want I'm. Some of these? Yes, please. Could I have some fries, please? Any more? Uh, yeah, a few more. Any more? Uh, yeah, a few more. Lovely, thank you. No, that's okay. We've got chicken nuggets. Claire, could you serve me some chicken nuggets, please? A couple, uh, two, let's say three, shall we? Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, what we've got here? Meatballs. Meatballs in tomato sauce. Oh, and spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Oh, we've got pizza. Claire's getting a slice of pizza. Oh, chili con carne, nice. And a salad bar selection. Penne pasta of some description, some sort of pasta bake. Tortellini met ricotta and spinach. That is a spinach and ricotta thing. This one is called veg vegetanale zanar wok. Not sure what that is. Oh, maybe it's Chinese. Oh, yeah. Oh, and some nice rice there. The rice looks nice. Rice met Ronas van, I don't know what that is. And some, oh, Bami Goreng noodles. Something here which we don't know what it is. Three shop dogs. I'm going to get a burger. Wait, where's the burger? Oh, I think there's a burger somewhere. Wedges? Some wedges? Some wedges? No, I won't, I won't double up on wedges. Why not? Everything? Yeah, lovely, thank you. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Some fresh meats here. We've got sausages. Um, and chicken. Chicken, brilliant. Uh -huh. Lovely, thank you very much. Oh yeah, lovely, thank you. Lovely, thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Awesome. And then a little preview of the dessert section. We've got profiteroles, mini donuts, mini eclairs, brownies, mini desserts, and also ice cream. Oh, what's the way they got? Oh, interesting. Very good. I don't remember eating a prawn like this before. Before, brilliant, I've just said. So Claire is going to help me with deconstructing the... Because you've got to peel the skin off, right? And then you've got to open it up, is that right? But it's kind of sharp, right? So here we go, Claire's doing well. You just got to get in there. You've just got to get in there. Okay guys, let's try out this food. I've got a bit of sausage here. Mm. Mm. That's nice, kind of like bratwurst. Fries. A bit just fell down, that's embarrassing. Nice, normal fries. The sophisticated taste of chicken nuggets. Mm. Nice crispy coating on there. Good to be fair. Mm. Are you enjoying it, Claire? I don't know, I have no idea what this is, I have no pasta, oh, yeah, it is, it's like... Ricotta and spinach, yeah. That one was uh, spinach, uh, yeah, spinach and uh, ricotta, right? Is that nice? Good. So Claire's favourite item was the chilli. I think my favourite is probably the chicken nuggets or kit nuggets. Um, Although I have now got some dessert, so I'll let you know what that is like in a minute. So Claire's favourite item was the chilli, as I just said, and yeah, she went back, she liked it so much, she went back to get some with rice. You are getting full, are you? Yeah. I've just dusted off my uh, brownies and profiteroles, and yeah, they were nice. Uh, we'll give our full thoughts back at the hotel room. But uh, crucially, guys, this is the dinner. 
We're actually here for breakfast as well. We believe it's like a full cooked breakfast. So, uh, assuming the normal sort of continental European affair. So, I'm, I'm expecting that we'll probably see Danishes there. We're hoping for mini Pano chocolates. That's going to be on my hit list. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping for some eggs and some potatoes as well, to be honest. Is there anything you're hoping for? Sorry. I'm not like. I don't um, eat a lot for breakfast. So no, you don't have too much for breakfast, I, um, do you? I, will, I know I will Yeah. Because I only eat either have like a cereal bar or a bowl of cereal. Yeah. But also, we've got to think strategically. Coming soon on the channel is going to be, or it may be up already actually, I don't know, a uh, Carrefour shopping vlog. So we don't want to be too full for Carrefour. And then, because then it will stop us from buying more. We want to be hungry when we go in. So it's that psychological effect that you buy more. So we just come back up to the room after having our dinner. So we can now give you some proper thoughts without the, the staff breathing down our necks. So first of all, the first important thing to say is that drinks are not included with the evening buffet. Didn't even see any jugs of water about as well. Don't know if you could have ordered them. I think maybe you could have done, but we ordered like a, a, like a Coke Zero and a Sprite and whatever. Uh, and then we paid at the bar at the end of our meal. But they do sort of advertise the fact that drinks aren't included um, quite quite readily, so that's fine. Um, in terms of the actual quality of the food, um, it is good. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's not bad whatsoever. I would definitely call it average, though. This is this is like a typical sort of average family buffet if you if you sort of catch my drift there. Um, like I said, the nuggets were nice, chips were nice. It was all fine. It was all absolutely fine. Um, those fresh meats that I had actually looked better than they tasted, I have to say. That again, nothing wrong with them. Uh, the pork was the, the the pork was nice. Uh, the chicken was fine, very bland, very lightly seasoned. Um, yeah, tasted very plain. Um, the sausage was nice, the sausage was actually decent, that had good flavour. Uh, and the prawn was alright, nothing special honestly. Again, it looked good but tasted just alright. Uh, everything there was just alright basically. Um, I don't think it's probably worth the price because if you're actually coming to the park you can um, just like go in and, and, and pay and it's like 35 euros. It's not worth 35 euros. Um, but like I said, it's there's nothing wrong with it. That is the dinner section anyway. And one thing we didn't mention is that it's 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 a really nice restaurant. The staff were brilliant as well. So overall, it's great. Just the food is all right. I'm excited to see what I'm excited. Am I? Uh, I'm uh, I'm neutral <laughs> to see what breakfast is like. Um, hopefully, look, listen. I want eggs, potato, and maybe some pano chocolate. If it's got them, you can't really mess them up. So I'm sure I'll be happy. And that is probably going to be the next bit on this video. By the way guys, if you're watching this video and wondering, wow, this goes so cool, um, can we watch a vlog of your actual day? You certainly can. You can watch Theme Park Life, uh, and we did a vlog from both the park and this wonderful hotel. So yeah, check it out guys. Okay, here we go guys. The breakfast service is served. Uh, so what have we got here? A collection of spreads and honey. Is that sultanas? Or chocolate spread? What is that? I'm not too sure. Little biscuits, a collection of cereal, breakfast cereals, uh, Kellogg's branded tubs. I believe we've got things like Cocoa Pops, uh, Frosties, Corn Flakes and more. A uh, plate station and then a collection of cheeses, uh, cured meats including um, salami and um, what I would recognise as Billy Bear, I'm guessing Plops are Bear. Oh, smoked salmon. Oh yeah, I should think I'll be having some of that. Here are the cooked uh, breakfast off offerings. Claire, could you pass me some, yes, yeah, a little bit of bacon. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's all right. And uh, yeah, see if I could have an egg. Uh, any, any intact, yeah, that, uh, the, uh, the one on the left. Perfect, thank you. Lovely, thank you very much. Cheers. Beautiful. Right, what have we got over here? We've got some beans and tomatoes. Yeah, I'll have some beans, please. God, this is Thank you very much. Salmon. And then we've got some mushrooms and some mini sausages. Yeah, if I could have one mini sausage as well, please. Could you use it as a dam to stop the beans touching the salmon? Yeah, the dam breaker, thank you. Perfect, yeah, that was creeping me out of there. Um, no, no mushrooms today, thank you. Eggs, yes, eggs and potato thing, yes, 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 yes. 
where it's gonna have to go on. Yeah, that, oh yeah, perfect, like good placement, good placement. I like that. Slammy, uh, slammy one of those potato rosters as well, please. Oh, fantastic, Claire, well done, thank you. Okay. We've also got some pancakes there as well. And folded, uh, yeah, Scotch style pancakes and then, yeah, sprinkles. Sprinkles and syrups, and here we go, Claire. Well, we've got potato, we've got, um, what was it, what the things I said I wanted? Potato, pano chocolate, we can see the pano chocolate. Here we go, we've got some uh, waffles. Yeah, could I have one of these fresh waffles, please? But yeah, cheers. Thank you very much. And they've also got danishes there, pano chocolates, and mini danishes and fresh bread. Any water? Yeah, I'm sure there will be some. I don't know where. I can go and get some in a minute. So this is what we've got, a uh, bread roll, which looks nice. This smoked salmon, we've got a potato, egg, meats, beans, uh, it looks very good. Uh, I'm going to go and get a plate of danishes and probably some butter and a drink though. Would you like anything, Claire? I would like a drink, please. A drink, water? Uh, yeah, water. Or fruit juice? Okay, we've now got the drinks. I don't know what my pink one is. Claire's just... Claire, well, I was going to show you the apple juice, but... Claire's just down there. No, no, it's fine. I was, I, I was, I was joking, one. I was joking. But yeah, oh well, if you're going to get one anyway. Well, yeah, actually, if you're going up, could I have a plate of... Uh, could I have a pano chocolat, a twisty thing, maybe pecan danish? Okay, yeah, can you... Yes, thank you. Okay, guys, let's try the mystery pink drink. Might be pink grapefruit. Oh, refreshing and yeah, pink grapefruit. Lovely, sweet and bitter. Um, that should contrast nicely against the rest of the rich meal. Danish chocolate twist. So our closing thoughts on the Plopsa Hotel Grand Buffet. Uh, we thought the dinner was pretty average, as you saw. Uh, it's not horrible by any means, it's just absolutely fine. Uh, however, the breakfast I actually thought was a lot better. Very much uh, my sort of style of breakfast. Those danishes are absolutely lovely. Uh, and there was absolutely nothing wrong with like the smoked salmon and the potato rusty and the eggs and everything like that. So yeah, really enjoyed the breakfast and it's tasty. Overall, I also forgot to mention that this was included in our stay. So we stayed one night at the Plopsa Hotel, which it came with theme park tickets. Uh, access to the water park as well and this uh, buffet uh, dinner and breakfast and that came to Claire give me a line it was about 180 each yeah 180 pounds each um, which I actually don't think is too bad the hotel itself is really nice uh, it's a really good quality room really well themed so you can check out our full vlog that we did over on theme park life thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time cheers